what is up everyone welcome back to the channel i know it's been a while since i put something out but i've been waiting on some things and i had a project in mind that i wanted to do and i wasn't sure if i was going to do it but i'm doing it and i'm going to bring you guys along for the process um a lot of you are probably going to ask why i did it and not just buy what I wanted to do, but to me, this is pretty much not costing me anything. I've done the math, I've done the parts and everything, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, just wanted to show you a little update that I did, uh, get you a little uh, what's going on, what I'm gonna go pick up, give you guys a little peek of what's going on. It's all kind of like underneath here. Let's see if you can kind of kind of see what what that is oh, oh oh that's too much maybe you can see what that is oh no no that's too much too anyways just kind of go in the you know the garage maybe that's too much i don't know we'll see um but anyways yeah excuse the messy garage guys not all not a lot of us are privileged to have a amazing three-car garage that we can work out of so, but for right now, let me show you what I kind of got. Look at this bad boy right here. All the same mods that you guys remember. Just keep an eye out on that for right now because that's going to be changing very soon. But I got myself a Magnaflow. Yeah. Let me give you guys a little sound test. Cold start. Kind of cold start. I'm sorry. I lied. It, uh, I took it out this morning to go get the missus some coffee. But you know what? If you guys aren't into that crazy loud sound, which I'm not in my 20s anymore. And I'm not, you know, you got a family, you got kids, you got your, your missus. You don't want it to be super loud in here. So pretty much to me, the perfect solution was the Magnaflow. It's loud when you need it and it's quiet when you don't. So to me, that's perfect, it, it, especially with the the intake, adding that all together, you can't go wrong. Um, as for performance, um, yeah, the throttle response is great, but I haven't, I've only had it for less than a week. So as it comes to gas mileage and all that, I don't know. It's it's great on the freeways and horrible in the streets. But that's just how these trucks are. So <laughs> heading over to go pick up some things. Come for a quick little ride with me. So I'm on my way to go ahead and pick up some parts. Um, now, amazing dealership. I've looked online. I've priced out different local dealerships from me. And right now, parts are ridiculous to get. Um, you're lucky to get them. And if you do, you got to search and find. And hopefully you can get it when you need it. But for right now... Yeah, it's kind of hard to get parts, especially the parts that I needed. Um, so I was very fortunate. Um, a local dealership, uh, Reynolds Buick and GMC, right here in uh, West Covina, uh, pretty much has an awesome, awesome um, sales rep that will definitely help you out. A lot of the places I've been to, basically they don't do a lot of work. They're just kind of like you walk in there and you ask them for parts and they're just like, whatever um now over here at reynolds anna man she'll go above and beyond to get you those parts to help you out and she's friendly she doesn't dismiss you when you go in ask her for parts if you need printouts of you whatever the the parts list is or whatever the the diagram that you need she gets it for you she'll email it to you do whatever you need to do so 
that's where I'm headed right now. Um, Reynolds Buick and GMC parts department. Um, I haven't taken my truck there for service, but I'm actually going to consider that now because it's a nice dealership. Um, even though I know there's multiples around me and it seems convenient to go somewhere else, but you want to go somewhere where you know someone's going to take care of your vehicle, where they're actually, you know, you don't take it and it's going to sit there for four or five days like a previous dealership I took it to, but it always seems like whenever I'm there that they're on their thing. So let's go ahead, let's check it out, let's get some parts, and then we'll go to where we're gonna be at next. So I'm here with Anna. Hi. This is the person that helped me do everything. Very friendly, knows her stuff. We'll work above and beyond to help you guys out. Make sure you ask for her. My name's Anna. I work here at Reynolds uh, GMC, and I am more than happy to help you uh, f fill any parts needs that you have. Any parts, she will find it. She'll get it for you in the US. Please, please give her a call. I'll go ahead and put the link up and she'll definitely help you out. Ask for Anna, don't ask for anybody else. But if she's not here, they'll definitely help you out too. So amazing dealership, give them a call. Bye. Guys, that was Anna. For the record, just so you know, I'm not getting anything for free out of this. Um, all the parts that I've got here were from my own pocket. I'm not, they're not paying me. <clears throat> excuse me, they're not paying me to say anything. This is just basically from my own experience with them. Um, I feel like if someone's treating you well, you want to let people know because you want them to get the same experience that you got. So guys, you know, I wrote in to, to Reynolds and I asked for their permission for me to come over and I, I got a response from Chuck, their Chuck Rhodes, their general manager. Um, and within a day, he okayed it and said, I can go ahead and, you know, talk to Anna, um, show her, you know, put the face to the person that basically got all the parts from. Um, as for vehicles, I'm sure they'll work with you too. Uh, just, hey, tell them you saw the video. Um, I, like I said, I'm not getting anything out of it. Uh, my experience was through the getting parts my experience was not through sales here. So I, the sales part, I can't really, you know, vouch for, but I'm sure they will just tell, you know, ask for Chuck and tell him you saw the YouTube channel and I'm sure they'll do something for you. So, um, Anna for parts, uh, Chuck GM for, you know, if you guys want to purchase a GM truck, but for right now, those parts I picked up are for a ZR2 conversion that I'm doing for this truck. Yes. Um, Project RS2 is what I'm calling it. ZR2, RST, boom. RS2 is what we're getting out of this. Now, why don't I just buy a ZR2 in the first place? I'm not spending $77,000 on a truck. I'm sorry. But to me, I, I can't fathom paying that much for a vehicle. Maybe if I'm rich, yes. But for right now, my whole thing is trying to make something on this channel to help people out and hey look nobody's ever done it nobody's done a conversion and i want to be that person to hopefully i've never done a conversion so let's just say we're doing this for the first time together and hopefully it works i've done all my research with anna to help out you know this bracket is on my current truck and this bracket is on the zr2 
They're both different uh, part numbers. So I know that that part, not, that part is not going to work with what I got. So I had to order certain brackets, certain parts, and I ordered two fenders to replace because you can't use the, the current fenders. Um, the fender flares have uh, basically push-in connectors. Uh, they're not like mine where you can just go ahead and stick them on and peel them right off. Uh, so you needed certain, I'm gonna go through all the parts that I've gotten. Um, the bumper I got, it was a little bit um, damaged. I got it fixed. Um, I had to get a grill. All these parts that I got, I've got for pretty much either bartering or finding something online for a amazing price. I got lucky and that's the only reason why I'm doing it. So um, certain parts I had to wait, which is why it's taking me a little bit longer than usual. Um, I thought I would have all parts today, but GM's very weird on their parts right now, which kind of sucks because I've come across where the part is not the part that they sent in and it's missing like a, a bracket or a pushing connector to for that part to actually you know, settle into the vehicle. So Anna's working on that. Um, I can still get the process going. Um, I'm expecting rain. So unfortunately that's going to have to push it back about another week or so. Let's go ahead and go through the parts that I've gotten so far so you can see what I'm going to do and how it's going to work. And then the next video is going to be the process of putting this all together and hopefully have this RS2 come true. Okay. So I'm back home. Obviously, it's the next day. Sorry, I couldn't get it done. I had some stuff I needed to do. But let's go ahead and show you what I'm doing. Excuse me, but ta-da. So here we go. ZR2 conversion. So here's the bumper. Um, as for this portion right here, I have an extra one because I was debating on the silver or the black. Um, I'm going black. I'm going to kind of make this thing a little bit different. Obviously it's not a full ZR2, but let's make it, you know, our own. And there's the grill. Um, flow ties missing. Obviously I'm just kind of get the, the chrome, uh, plastic dipped. Um, these lights right here, obviously the, my truck currently isn't set up for those lights because our grills are just normal grills with no lights. So what I did was I, I got myself a fuse tap and I found out where the, um, the corner lights come on, the parking lights, tapped into those, tested them, and they turn on and off with the, with the marker lights. So made myself a little harness, boom, it worked. Awesome. Um, right here, we got a brand new radiator shutter. Um, that's where your grill is gonna go into. It will not work with your current radiator shutter. So I'm going to have to replace it. There it is. Um, obviously the skid plate that goes underneath. There's a bracket that holds that. Um, a bunch of different parts. I'll go over all that too. You're going to need to replace all the inner. Um, obviously it's behind the, the shoot. It's, it's a little, some of it's behind the bumper and some of it's behind the, the front fenders. So you'll see in the process, uh, a bunch of little uh, brackets and stuff. Um, in here, these are basically what those are. Those are the fender liners or whatever you want to call them, the fender flares. These are just new. Um, the other ones were kind of scratched up and everything, so I just wanted to go new. And then back here, you can't really see them, but I got my fenders. Everything's ready to go. Uh, next video, you're going to go ahead and see the whole process i'm going to pull apart that whole front end um and hopefully everything fits the way i think it's going to fit um i have brackets i have everything that i that i need i went i did my research parts came in and i'm ready to go so fingers crossed hopefully this works um and if that's the case if you're looking to do a conversion for your custom or you're looking to do something to maybe a grill, a bumper, something to make it better. I'm going to have those parts available. If you're in SoCal, um, hit me up, let me know. Uh, I, I know that a lot of people, I'm not going to charge up the, you know what for it, but I'm also not going to get lowballed. So just kind of, we'll work something out if you, if that's what you guys want, but 
obviously there's going to be a grill available there's going to be a front front end um with we got the the lights i'll go over all that so and fenders once again if you guys like the channel please like subscribe go ahead and tell all your friends what's going on maybe you want to get yourself a zr2 conversion and do what i'm doing and hopefully it works and then you can get it done as well so once again thank you guys everyone for watching have yourself a great day